This is the first video I'm recording on my new Canon 80D. And with my 10 to 18 millimeter lens, I'm so excited. What is up y'all, it is Annalise, and in this video I am going to be talking to you guys about my everyday carry. So this is a video I've seen some people do, which is referred to as an EDC or an everyday carry, and it's pretty much the things that I always have on my person or in my bag with me. I find these videos interesting because sometimes I'm curious to see what people prioritize on having on their person at all times, as well as with one of these videos before it actually has changed things that I do keep on me on a daily basis. So without further ado, if you are interested interested in my everyday carry, the things that I carry on me every day or pretty much every day, and then I'm also going to talk about the bags I use to carry said things, because sometimes I don't have pockets. Go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing in my everyday carry, of course, is my iPhone 7 Plus. This is a 256 iPhone 7 Plus in silver. Uh, the case I use on it right now is a spec clear case. I actually got this one from a Marshalls on like sale for only 14 bucks when they're normally like 30 bucks, which is pretty nice. And then I always have a pop socket on any case that I use. Unfortunately, I am really attached to my phone because it keeps a lot of information in here that I need for like an everyday basis. However, you know, if I didn't have it, I wouldn't be lost, but my events and my calendar are pretty important in there in there and that kind of dictates my whole life. Yeah, I need my phone. <laughs> so next on my list is my keys and yes, I have a whole bunch of keys and people ask me, do you use those every day? And I don't use every key every single day, but I use them enough to where I need to keep them on my keys every day. Something that I recently started doing about a year back is keeping a little flash drive on my keys. I don't have things on flash drives a ton and it's not like I'm printing things a lot. However, I have found that this is coming and handy because maybe I need to print something at FedEx for school or for a club project. I also got this keychain that is the plaque from Disneyland that says, here you leave today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow, and fantasy. And then of course the lanyard I use is my Monsters University lanyard and this comes in handy for not only fishing my keys out of a bag but also if I don't have pockets or a bag I can just tie it around my neck which I don't do often. Okay so next of course is my wallet and this is actually a lot smaller than the wallet I used to carry. Let me show you. So I used to carry a wallet this size, and these things have like tons of pockets, and you change, and you can put your money straight on stuff. So I carried this for a really long time. And then I got a small wallet like this, so it's about half the size, but it's still the same kind of idea of folders and things, and it zips and all that stuff. And I got this for a trip to Disneyland. I think it was my inspiration for it to minimize all my wallet size. Then I realized I was carrying a lot of stuff I didn't need, like rewards cards and whatever. So I went to this. Then my mom and I went to Disneyland in December. I think is when I got this, maybe in September. And I was looking for a smaller wallet for, than, than this to put in like my fanny pack or to put in my back pocket. If maybe I wasn't carrying anything because this was the biggest issue is that if I was not carrying a bag to put this in my pocket it was really like awkward. So then we found this, and at first I was thinking, oh, I'm just gonna use this for the parks, right? I haven't changed my wallet since. I keep the things in there that I need, and then in here, I do put change in here sometimes, but honestly, I don't really carry change on me anymore. In here, this is something that I never leave the house without. First, a little SIM card ejector. It's not like I'm ejecting SIM cards a lot, but these tools actually come in handy for like cutting open like plastic and stuff. And then this is my lucky coin. I will not leave the house without it. When I did cheer, I always put it in the right shoe of my sneaker and under my foot. We always had great great performances and the one time this was not in my shoe was the worst performance we had ever had. So I'm very superstitious and this coin is always on me and then I normally like fold up my money and put it there. Never did I ever think I would have a wallet this small. And for those of you who are curious, I got all three of these from Target. Okay, next is sunglasses. So I always make sure I have sunglasses on me and there's actually like a theme going on like teal, teal, there's some more teal stuff coming up. But funny enough, my favorite color is orange. But I have really sensitive eyes. Like yesterday, my mom and I were driving around and it was cloudy and it was still too bright outside for me and it was like hurting my eyes. So I always have to have sunglasses on me. I forgot my sunglasses yesterday and it was awful. These are two sunglasses that I've been really loving. This is my white pair. These sunglasses are from the company called Crap Eyewear and the style is called the Human Fly. I had a pair of black sunglasses, which you've probably seen in my vlogs before. And this is the teal pair that I got and uh, I think I lost them in the Spokane airport, which is really great because I didn't even intend on bringing them there and they were my favorite sunglasses. So if anybody knows where you can find a black pair of these sunglasses, please let me know because I want them so bad. They're my favorites. I always make sure I have some sort of protective eyewear, whether it be like a hat with a, with a cap or more preferably sunglasses always with me. These are a must. 
And then this guy, my Hydro Flask. This is a 40 ounce Hydro Flask, I believe. Yep, yeah, this is the 40 ounce Hydro Flask. It's the wide mouth one. I went on Amazon and got this Takeya lid, which spins off and then you can spin it open like this. And then this handle is really nifty too. I've got all my stickers on it. I take this thing wherever I go. I would say those items that I just showed you, I always have on me no matter what. If I'm leaving the house, even if I don't have a bag, I will make sure to have my wallet, my keys, my sunglasses, my phone, wallet, keys, sunglasses, phone, and my water bottle, always. Oh, and then another thing you can add on to that is of course my Apple Watch. This is an Apple Watch Series 3 stainless steel 42 millimeter. I always have this on me like, oh yeah, since we're gonna get into details, this ring is always on me too. You'll rarely see this ring not on me. And if the ring is not on me, that means I'm at home working on the computer or I'm in the shower <laughs> or I just got out of the shower or I'm in a show. I'm not allowed to wear, you know, these things when I'm doing a show because maybe that's not what the character would wear or, you know, if I'm doing a Shakespeare show, this is probably not with the times. I always take these off and sometimes I'll leave them at home just so they don't get lost. But I hate going anywhere without my watch, but especially my ring, but I always have these on me. Now, if I'm carrying some sort of bag on me, I will have these next couple of items in my bag for certain, no matter what size the bag is. Of course, gotta have my chapstick. That's the Burt's Bees medicated. I just like, it makes your breath smell a little bit better and I just like this chapstick, it's good. Another thing that I will always have in my bag is a carabiner with hair ties on it. Y'all know I've got long hair and sometimes it's windy or I just gotta get it out of my face or whatever reason. So I have a carabiner and these are just like little tiny carabiners. It's really great for keeping your hair ties on and then you can also clip this to a bag or to your keychain and it just holds a whole bunch of hair ties so I always have these on me. I always try to keep some bobby pins in my bag if it's a small bag or in my car somewhere just because they're nice and small and it's still a way I can get my hair out of my face or put it up in a bun. When you got long hair, it's something you really have to think about how to keep it under control. Now I'm gonna go ahead and dive into like a category of things that is stuff that I carry on me pretty frequently but not every day and some of them have to do with the size of bag that I'm carrying. But the first thing is not that. These are my Beats X. I love them. I have a review of them on my channel right now so if you want to hear my thoughts and opinions on that, go check them out. They're just a great Bluetooth headphone. If I'm carrying my backpack, I will always have a lightning cable in it just because you never know when you'll need a lightning cable. Sometimes I even put a 5 watt in there just so that way I have an adapter to plug into a wall. Now these next two things that I will carry on me if I have enough room are big and they don't fit a lot of my bags. But first is going to be my iPad Pro. This is the 10.5 inch iPad Pro along with my Apple Pencil and it is in this clear OtterBox case. I absolutely love my iPad. I use it a lot with, especially with the Apple Pencil. I use it as my pen and paper because maybe sometimes I forget a notebook. But look at that smooth transition. I'm not done talking about this, but I always have a notebook on me. But anyway, my iPad Pro, it's just bigger than my phone so I can do more computery type things on it, but it's not my computer. So I can't do some of the things I can do on my computer, like edit a video. I can technically on here. I just normally don't, but it's not as big, but it's a lot thinner and I can put it in a majority of my bags and it's not like weighing me down. iPad Pro, great. I would honestly, I would buy a mini iPad Pro if it existed because I loved my iPad mini, but I love the capabilities of an iPad Pro. <laughs> I didn't like breathe that whole last two sentences and now I'm like winded because I was holding my breath. I don't know if you could tell that. I do that a lot. I don't breathe, which is necessary to like live. It's, you know, it's casual. Um, But another thing that if I have my iPad on me, I most likely will have this on me, especially if I'm going to school. And that is this little mead or med, however you pronounce that, notebook. I got these a couple of years ago and I just got it for like one trip I was doing to a festival to take notes on. and then and it started becoming like a daily staple. So I love it because it has this little pen holder. It has different dividers that not only separate and you can like move them around, but they have pockets. I put so much stuff in here. These things are absolutely great. I have three of these notebooks in this size and I like like the hard plastic covering just in case you ever spill anything on there. But these are honestly just great notebooks and I find myself writing just tons of random stuff in here, but especially like it's great for video ideas because sometimes writing it down on pen and paper is different than typing it out on your phone. It is just about the size of my iPad. So if I have this, I probably have this with me because 
that means it fits. So those are all the things that I have with me, if not every day, mostly every day. Oh, there's change in there, cool. I'm rich. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the bags that I carry. I think there's only two of these bags that I know I could get the link for. I'll put that in the description if it's something you're interested in. But first, and this is like my primary purse, is this purse that I got from Tilly's like five years ago. Tilly's is a store in the United States that is like, I don't even know how to explain it. I got this there, I saw the design, and I was like, oh, I don't need another bag. But I was talking to my friend who worked there, and I just kind of go to her, do you get commission on things that I buy? And she goes, yeah. And I was like, I'll buy it for you. I'll do it for you. And so I got it, and literally the best decision I've ever made. I love this bag so much. This pocket used to be really great because it would fit my iPhone 6, but now I have a 7 Plus, and it doesn't fit it. And this, this compartment is perfect because because it fits everything that I need it to and then some. And it's so cute and like, I don't know if y'all know this, but like this, just like look at this. This is my aesthetic. Like flowers and this like co cognac brown is what a lot of people call it. I love this bag for everything and it's a cross, I like wear it as a crossbody or over my shoulder and it's just perfect. I love it so much. Okay, the next purse I use really frequently. Look, it's the same friggin' color. I've had this one for really long. It, you can see it's a lot bigger. This will fit my iPad in it. So if I'm trying to just carry a purse, but I need to bring my iPad for some reason, I will bring this bag. It's got little pockets in here. I got it from Target so long ago. It's got pockets on the sides here. It's got a little flip up pocket. I love me some pockets. What's this? Oh, I thought it was money. Dang it. It fits like everything I need to. I'll even put clothes in here sometimes, depending on like where my day is going, but it's a really great purse. Target has purses that are just like, essentially this, but like a different design on the front or the pockets are arranged differently or whatever. But if you find any of their like this size, it's like a little bit bigger than my head, you can see. Yeah, if you find any of their this size purses and you're looking for a purse, they're all pretty much the same. They're really great bags. They're like 20 to $30, check them out, they're great. The next bag that has been literally changing my life. I love this freaking bag so much. <laughs> is this Epcot 35th anniversary, 35th anniversary, right? I'm not drunk. Epcot 35th anniversary backpack by Loungefly from Epcot itself. This was in Epcot. I know, so exciting. So I saw this bag online. If y'all don't know, I absolutely love Epcot. Epcot is my favorite. It's in Walt Disney World in Florida. It's wonderful. I've seen these, I don't know if you've seen these like Loungefly backpacks before where they're like about this size and like all that stuff. And I've always thought they were super cute, but I never found a design that I was like, like, oh, I need it. And then 35th anniversary of Epcot was last year. I follow a whole bunch of blogs and stuff and I saw this and I knew I needed it. And then I found out the devastating news that it was only going to be available in stores. But then there was a light at the end of the tunnel. My friend Jazzy worked in Disney World for the college program for, uh, you know, uh, fall of last year. Yeah, it was fall of last year. And I reached out to her and I said, hey, if I sent you the money, like, could you get this for me? And she said, yes. And she got it for me. And then she came home the next month and brought it to me. And it's honestly my only complaint. <laughs> It won't fit. My iPad will not fit. I've tried, I've tried bending, you know, oh, maybe if I angle my backpack this way, it's just too short. It's the fact that this doesn't fit as well as my hydro flask doesn't fit. If I wanted to bring this backpack and my water bottle to Disneyland or Disney World, like I, there's no way, even if I had a different lid, that I could finagle this, you know? And it's so disappointing because sometimes you just don't want to carry this in your hands. You want to put it in your backpack. This has figment all over it. And I, what I like is it's not so like, in your face, oh look, it's a Disney bag. Cause it's Figment and people don't know who Figment is. So it's super cute. And it says Epcot 35 right there. I absolutely love it. It's great. It's got pockets here and here. I'll put my phone there. Little pocket for my wallet, everything else. It's spectacular. I've been using this as like my camera bag as of late. So whenever I do headshots of anybody or I'm just taking my camera somewhere cause I don't have a big camera bag. I've been using this just as my strict camera bag and it's been perfect so far. Oh my God, when I get excited about something I just don't breathe cause I'm getting so windy. And last but not least, and you have probably uh, 
has seen me talk about this backpack or seen me with this backpack, I've talked about this in my favorites video. This is my North Face Wise Guy backpack in these bright colors and it, it is literally the best backpack I've ever owned. I've never owned anything North Face before and then I got this and my life was changed. I wanted something bright because literally here was my rationalization in my head. What if I'm in Disneyland and somebody needs to point me out of a crowd? That's why I went with the bright color. But I also love bright colors. So like I love the color scheme on this backpack. It's so bright and fun. It's got a lot of pockets. So this is what I bring with me pretty much like every day because I'll either be going to school or rehearsal. So in here I'll put my headphones. There's a big front pocket over here and this is where I'll put like, oh look at that. There's a lightning cable, hair ties, bobby pins in here already. There's two lightning cables. Oh and chapstick and tacks for some reason. Okay. But here's where I'll put chargers and stuff. There's a big compartment and there's a laptop slot. There's a water bottle pocket on the side. I don't use them for water bottles. I use them for carrying things. So like hair ties, I'll put oranges in there, um, flash cards, you know, the usual stuff. But this backpack is absolutely spectacular. I love this bag. It's great for carrying everything that I need. I've done trips where maybe it was a one day trip and I had to leave the city. And this is like, this was able to hold everything I needed to. I can put everything I mentioned, including all those bags in this backpack and it carries everything that I need. It's comfortable, it's lightweight on its own, so it's not like it's a heavy backpack to begin with because I've had backpacks that were really heavy and I just think it is a spectacular bag. If you're looking for a minimalist backpack that has enough compartments to satisfy your organizational needs, check out the Wise Guy by North Face or just any North Face backpack in general because this thing has been through hell and back. So that was my everyday carry slash sometimes carry video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I maybe found it interesting, educational. Maybe you realized, oh, this wallet would be a perfect size wallet for me and I can get it at Target for under 10 bucks. Yeah, I think it was like seven bucks. This is the best wallet ever. Honestly, I really enjoy it. Um, and just finding out some of the things that I like to use or carry. This is kind of like a, um, this is kind of like a favorites video, if you will, because obviously these things are my favorite or I wouldn't have them on my person at all times. <laughs> so definitely those first five things that I mentioned are like the, like the number ones. And it's funny because whenever I go somewhere and I'm like making sure this is filled all the way up to the top, my mom's always like, oh, are you sure you're going to have enough water? Like making fun of me for filling up my water. And I like, I drink a lot of water. Like I really do. Sometimes I'll just be like, <laughs> I, <laughs> I was like, I panic if I leave the house and this isn't full because I can fill up my water before I leave the house. And like, I'll just be sitting and I don't know. I drink a lot of water. I like water. Water is good, y'all. Water is good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Check the description if you are interested in any of the things that I talked about today. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was educational, entertaining, or enjoyable for you, or all three. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it, and that lets me know that you enjoy videos like these, or maybe want to see more videos of the, the things like this. I don't know. Of course, if you have any suggestions for videos or things that you would like to see from me, leave those in the comment section down below. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. Otherwise, that is it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay beautiful have a marvelous day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!